Uh, I probably should have changed my video settings because I just realized I uh, had them set up for like a physical recording rather than this kind of recording. But this is the deck that I've been laddering with. So if you uh, wanted a baseline, here you go. There are a lot of alterations you can make. Like for one thing, swapping this out for another kaiju is probably worth it. Or even a Pankratops would be pretty good value. If you're wondering why I'm only running two pots even though I have three. For this deck, I kind of want my extra. I don't really want to see this all that often either. Like sometimes it helps. Um, but it does kind of conflict with Pico Felina. So, you know, I, I just had a couple of reasons for not necessarily running it at three. You can run Metaverse as well. I just don't have a copy. If I did, I would be running it over something. Um, you don't necessarily need to run three Goki Pole. Two can be enough in most situations. Um, I like having the three, though, because I, I've just gotten into situations where I needed a third one for one reason or another. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm working with right now. The solo mode actually does give you nearly a full playset of every digital bug card. I think there's just like one main deck ultra monster you'd have to craft, ultra rare monster you'd have to craft. So once that's done, uh, once I'm done crafting my other two copies, I will make a video that is still giant ballpark, but it is definitely more of a digital bug focus. It's actually pretty solid. Um, and I think it should be cheaper, technically speaking, to go for that because the story literally gives a deck right so mostly making some modifications peace